to the Smokies and this is your first time here? So, well, for those of you who are here for the first time, welcome to the Smokies. And for those of you who are coming back, welcome back. So I'm really I completed a biology degree in Michigan. And after that, I was looking to get back into the environmental field, but I was struggling with it for a while and worked a few odd jobs. And then I had the opportunity to work with ACE out in Arizona. I can't imagine a better job. It's a really special location because we have lots and lots of biodiversity and all these natural and cultural resources, but then we're also right next to communities, these gateway communities like Knoxville and Pigeon Forge and Sevierville. The school we are working with today, Pi Beta Phi, they come to the park between kindergarten and eighth grade over 30 times. And so get, they get these repeat experiences, they're only five minutes away. And there are not many national parks where you have that opportunity to really engage not just with the visitors coming to the park, but the surrounding communities that are impacted by the park. I did restoration work and trail work for a little bit with ACE, but then the last three months I ended up working with the Forest Service doing timber marking. I had the opportunity to do another ACE EPIC internship here in Tennessee, which I was really excited about because it was going to be an education opportunity. And they look very different than they do as an adult. So this is the young form, and as an adult, they look like this. They become a beetle. And I totally fell in love with the Smokies and loved interpretation and education and had a chance to do another AmeriCorps internship, this time here at Sugarlands Visitor Center. Then at the end of that internship, I was able to get a seasonal position with the Park Service. And I've spent the last a little bit under a year working with the park as a federal employee, and I'm just starting my second season as of Monday. In the spring and the fall, we have students come into the park and do what we call parks as classroom programs where they're learning curriculum standards but here in their beautiful outdoor classroom setting. In the winter when it's too cold to come into the park we go into the surrounding communities so we can work with more of the inner city students that might not have ever been to the park and so we kind of bring the park to them. We bring pictures and resources and try to get them excited about the park and let them know that this is their park and it's super close so come visit us. And then in the summer, I'm going to have the chance this summer to work with our high school interns. So they're juniors and seniors just getting ready for college. And it's an ACE position, and I get to facilitate that. I knew almost nothing about the Park Service before I started working with ACE. And so it gave me the chance to learn about what options are out there and what I like to do. And yeah, just kind of open my eyes for what opportunities are out there. I definitely recommend anyone to consider an ACE internship. Right now I am going to graduate school getting my Master's of Biology and Science for Science Educators. The Education Award is funding about two-thirds of my graduate school. Well I definitely want to stay in environmental education. I don't think there's anything more important than getting youth excited about the parks but also giving them a sense of stewardship and ownership that this is their their resource and it's going to be up to them if they protect it or not and so staying in environmental education hopefully through the park service there's a lot of great agencies outside of the park and nonprofits as well so as long as i'm teaching kids about protecting the earth i'll be happy <laughs>